Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. In this module, we will learn how to write a switch case and where we can use it in C programming. Right? So let's get started. Let me open Notepad. And before we jump into uh, writing or learning about switch case, let's take some scenarios and we'll write code for that. Now the first requirement that we have, let's take like this. So requirement one. Now the, my requirement one is read a single digit less than five and print in words and print in words so that is if I enter the number one if user enters number one the output should be one if user enters two output should be two and so on and if user enters four I mean three it, it should be three let's write the complete requirements so it should be 3. If user enters 4, it should be 4. And so it's only less than 5. So it's up to less than 5. So now if a user enters 5 and we want to display it as invalid or any other number which is not less than 5, so we have to display as invalid. So let's take if user enters 90 or 95. So it is also invalid. So that's the requirement that we got. Now, so we will be writing a C program using switch case to solve this. I repeat once again, we need to read a single digit number, ideally less than five, and we want to print in words. And if user enters anything five or greater than five, we want to display that as invalid number. So that's the requirement for which we are going to write a switch case now. Now, let me open code blocks. And this is um, this is our module lecture number 10. So now let me open code blocks and new file, empty file, and I'll save it. So let's save it in the same uh, my programs, and I'll I'll be saving it as so 10 dot uh, switch example one. So I'm saving it as 10 dot switch example one. Let's save it. Now, as usual, we'll write include stdio.h and uh, remember, C language is case sensitive. Include conivo.h, void main, and now we need to read the number from the user. So, because it's a number, I'm declaring as int input, and we need to ask user to enter it. So, printf, enter any number, and then we'll write scanf scanf percentile d for integer so double quotes percentile d for integer comma ampersand input now what we need we need to uh, check and based on the condition we want to display in word so we can use an if else condition if else if else if else if like that so rather than that see here we can write like this if input is equal to one and i can write using if else condition you can do it printf one and else if input is equal to two I can write printf two and else if so I can write here else if input is equal to three I can write here printf I can write uh, three and also I can write here else if input is equal to four I can write here printf 4 and remaining all other numbers else. So I can write else and printf invalid. And this worked perfectly. Now I'll just close it and I'll write get ch. So we're done with this program. So, so this will work. We'll read the number and based on the condition, if this is satisfied, it'll print 1 and it'll go back to get ch. And uh, if it is 2, it's 3. If it's 4. So so this will this code will perfectly work so let's save this and now let's build this and now let's run the code now you can see here enter any number I'll enter 2 the output is 2 and I'll run the code now and I'll enter 3 it's printing 3 I'll run the code I'll enter I'll enter 9 you can see it's invalid so this code is working fine and no issues at all but rather than this, if you use a switch case, that's more readable and that doesn't require to check this many conditions, right? 
So let's see how we can write a switch case instead of this if else if else if. So this is good only up to three conditions. But if you have more than three conditions, it's always good to go for switch case. Right? So let's see this now. Let's uh, let's change this code to switch case. So switch case we have to write like this switch input. And you can write here case one. So printf one. And every case you have to write uh, a statement called break. So break is used to come outside the switch case. Right. So what I'll do now is I'll just copy and paste it once again so that I don't have to type it. So now this is for, uh, let's do this. So I will, yeah, let me copy this. Control C, Control V, and once again Control V, that's for case three. Enter, backspace, and that's for case four and and one more time let's do one more time backspace I'm typing control V so we're done so now I need to change the values so this is how we write a switch case and let me delete this now I'll change this so if it is one if this input is one I want to print as one if it is two and then three and then and then four here and then five and the last one is not five basically it's a default so default means it's not it's other than these values so here I'll write here two and I'll write here three I'll be writing here four and it says it is invalid so what happens in this case is so depending on the value that you enter so let's um, so what we'll do now is uh, let's try to minimize this and let's try to I'll explain this so see here now so if the value is 3 directly it will jump to case 3 and then it will print 3 and break break will take outside the switch case now if you're entering so let's take if you're entering 1 it will go to this uh, first case and it will print 1 and it will then because of the break it will jump to this so it will come outside the switch case now if you're entering 4 the switch based on the case it will directly go to case 4 it will print 4 and break will take outside the switch case now in case if you are entering the value which is not there in these four cases it will go to the default and it will print invalid and it will come outside the get ch and remember if you forget to put this break statement it will jump so it will print 1 and then it will also print the immediate next case as well so it will fall through the cases right so now let's uh, let's see how it works let's save it and let's build the code and now you can see no errors let's run the code I can see I'm entering 3 I'm getting output as 3 now let's try to enter let's let me delete this break um, before after 3 and save it now in this case what happens is when I enter 3 it will print 3 and because there is no break it will fall through case 4 as well it will print 4 and then it will break it will come out outside switch case so when I enter 3 now the output will be 3 and 4 so let's save it and uh, build it and let's execute it now I'm entering 3 you can see I'm getting 3 4 3 and 4 both it's getting printed and remaining cases it still works better now if I enter 4 you can see it's entering 4 so because we don't have break statement here it's once it case is satisfied it's falling through the next case as well okay so remember if you don't have case break statement um, in switch case it will jump to the next case as well right so this also we can use this as uh, uh, we can use this and we can implement in a uh, few requirements as well and we'll see that okay so this is the general syntax for a switch case you have to read a number from the user switch input and you can write all the cases and the last one should be default and anyway for last default one you don't really need a break statement because that's the last statement you don't really need to put break but that's okay you can keep it right so now now let me put this here um, break we're done with this now let's see one more example where we can use a switch case we'll try to understand with another requirement let's see this now the second requirement is let me open notepad now requirement 2 
Now the requirement to is read a read a single character from user and check if it is oval or consonant. So in this case we can have like all these are ovals like A, E, I, O, U. All these are ovals and if user enters any other value like P, Q, or M, N, any other any other uh, character it will be consonant. Now let's do this program and let's try to understand how we can use which case. Right? Let's go. Now I'll save it and I'll close it and empty file and now what I'll do is I will save it and here I'll save it as this is example 2 right so 10 dot switch example 2 now as usual I'll write here include stdivo.h and we can also write include conivo.h forget ch include conivo.h void main and I'll write in this case char ch so printf enter any character and then we'll read the value. So scanf, scanf percentile c for character, comma ampersand ch. And then what we need, we need um, we need to check. So switch, switch ch. And in this case, you'll write here case a. And uh, in all these cases, like case a e i o u, you need to print oval. So I can actually write like this. So now, if, now I'll write here case E and case I, case A E I, case O and case U. So in all these scenarios, we want to print as an oval. So we are falling through the cases. So we'll write here printf well and then we'll use break and then we'll add one more case called default so default case will put printf it's a consonant and then we'll write here break and anyway for default break is not required because that's the last statement now what we are trying to do in this case is we are making use of the falling option from one case to other case. So in this case what happens if the user enters A is. So if the user enters A. So this case will will be satisfied and since we don't have any statements here, it'll we don't have break here, it'll fall through. And it'll print oval and then it'll break. So in, that applies for even if user enters I. So in this case it'll match this and from here it'll fall through and it'll print oval. So anything other than this, if user enters anything other than this, other than this, so it will jump to the default and it will print consonant. Okay. So this is the general syntax for switch case. We have seen two examples of how to write. So let's save it and build it. And let's run the code. Now let's see if it works. I'm entering O. You can see it's a oval. So let's run the code now and I'll enter M you can see it's printing consonant, right? So now I'll be saving these two programs in GitHub so that you can download it. Let me open my GitHub and uh, we have up to nine. So let me upload the files that I have, uh, I have uh, explained in the last, um, in this module. So I'll be selecting here, switch case example, both the examples, click open and you can see the files are getting uploaded so both the files and then commit changes now how you can get these two files so all you have to do is you need to type this URL so this is the URL that you need to type https colon slash slash github.com slash megnad slash c so once you type this URL you can download the examples that I've illustrated in this in this lecture so hope you are clear with switch case and in the next module we will learn how to so this is completed in the next module we will learn we will learn how to use a for loop okay 
That's all for now. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.